Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Lugnus Monster, episode 67. The series on the channel where I answer your guys' questions from the comments down below. So if you guys do want your questions answered in next week's video, comment down below on this week's video and I'll try my very best to answer it. And today is also Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching. I'm so glad that you could take a moment out of your Thanksgiving to watch this video. It means a lot to me and something I'm definitely thankful for. Another thing I'm thankful for is all the recent support you guys have been giving me on the channel. It means a ton to me. We've actually gained like 100 subs in the last three days, which is just absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much. I do really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're like two subs away from uh, 4,500 subs, which is insane. We're actually doing a giveaway on the channel, though. Once we hit 5K, we'll be giving away this Arc Trooper Echo. It is sealed and ready to ship once we hit 5K. There is actually international shipping on that giveaway, too. So uh, you do actually have to be subbed to the channel, though, to enter. So make sure you are subbed. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for all the recent support. We're like only 500 subs away from this giveaway. So if you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that sub button because it, it just gets us closer to that giveaway. And it means the world to me as well. Anyway, because since today is Thanksgiving, I am going to be doing a little bit of a shorter episode today, but it doesn't mean it's not going to be a good one, because we're going to go and jump right into customs, collections, and recent pickups for today. First up, sent in by Hunter. It is actually not uh, his images, but it is from a different person on Instagram called Roar Customs. He did make this custom fives, and it looks absolutely incredible. Man, Hasbro, please just make fives already. Anyway, this guy here does just use that Arc Trooper Echo mold, but it looks incredible. I, I know this is exactly what Hasbro is going to do. They're just going to repaint that Arc Trooper Echo mold, and I'm perfectly fine with that because it's literally the same thing. But yeah, uh, Roar Customs here did an insane job of making this custom fives. Literally, Hasbro, please make a fives already. He's one of the most wanted figures in the Black Series. Uh, at least, okay, I don't want to say that. I don't want to speak for everybody, but at least from the comment section that I've seen of making YouTube videos for a long time now, I've noticed that a ton of people do want fives, just as much as me. So, by any small chance that anybody at Hasbro is watching this, I very highly doubt it, but if you are, please consider making a fives for me. Yeah, this uh, this custom does look absolutely incredible. I could not be happier with how this thing came out, and man, like I said, Hasbro, just make fives. Anyway, next up is a collection sent in by John637. He does have this really, really nice like shelf display of four different shelves full of figures. I uh, unfortunately don't really have shelves. I do have some glass display cases, but uh, shelves are always something I've wanted to get, and I just really haven't had enough wall space to mount shelves, and... Yeah, your shelves here look really cool, so that's something I'm definitely admiring. But anyway, starting on the bottom shelf of your collection here, it does seem to be more of a uh, like Disney kind of Star Wars based display here. We do have some stuff from the Mandalorian on the left looking super cool. I absolutely love the Mandalorian and I do have a nice Mandalorian display myself, but yours looks insane as well. I do love that Bo-Katan figure. I still need to get my hands on Casca Reeves, but uh, definitely one. I believe it is in stock on Walmart if you guys don't have Casca Reeves at all. I believe she is in stock. Last time I checked, I do have to order her eventually, but uh, yeah, your display is looking super nice. We do actually have Hondo in the middle, another figure I don't have, man. Hondo is such a gr uh, great character. I loved him in Clone Wars and I loved him in Rebels, and I just never got around to getting the figure. And then on the right side is actually some new trilogy figures as well. Like I said the movies weren't super good for a new trilogy i know i have mixed emotions about it i like some of them i like some features about them but the figures from the new trilogy get so much hate and i do understand they peg warmed a ton but the first order figures themselves are so good i know you know some of those original first order stormtroopers had awful articulation but as the line continued these first order stormtroopers and just other first order figures are so good and i really wish we could have got more of them before you know they kind of just peg warmed super hard Moving up to the next shelf is uh, kind of a OT theme, and uh, it does look super cool. I definitely noticed on the left there you do have like the entire Return of the Jedi gang going there with Han, Chewbacca, Luke, Leia, and Lando. Looking super nice, I do have to say. I still need to pick up that uh, Re Return of the Jedi Leia. Don't have that one yet, but uh, it's not a terribly expensive figure in the aftermarket, so it shouldn't be too hard to pick up. But yeah, that display, that OT display there looks super, super good. I still got to get a Chewbacca too. Don't know why I haven't got a Chewbacca yet. Yeah, believe that. Of all the figures that I have, I don't have a Black Series Chewbacca. 
Anyway, moving to the middle, we do have a small bounty hunter display. I do see an IG-88 kind of hidden there in the back with Zuckus and Boba Fett. I also don't have IG-88 or Zuckus, man. That's insane. I, uh, another few figures I kind of just skipped on. I wasn't huge into those bounty hunter displays when I first started and when those figures were available. But now looking back, I really do wish I picked those up because I've seen over the last few weeks of doing uh, these videos, I've noticed that the whole bounty hunter displays look insane they look incredible and uh... those uh, bounty hunter figures are some i'm gonna have to go and pick up out on the aftermarket just because of how cool the displays look and then over to the right we do have darth vader with some imperial figures looking super nice as well the next shelf up is kind of like a, a random figure slash mid prequel empire kind of theme but you do have Really nice Bad Batch display. I know a lot of people have still been trying to get Tech and Wrecker as they are newer figures. Not really new, because I know Tech started hitting stores in like June, but he's just been now shipping out pre-orders of. So uh, yeah, he does look really cool though. I do love that Bad Batch display. We also on that shelf do have the Second Sister, another great figure that uh, gets a lot of hate. I know I hated on it when I first got it just because it had a hard time standing up, but I do really like that figure. I love Fallen Order, and uh, the Second Sister Second Sister is no exception. She's also flanked by some Imperial dudes as well. And of course, you cannot forget Commander Bly and Commander Gree, two amazing clone troopers in the Black Series. Black Series al always knocks it out of the park with the clones, and these two are no exceptions. Last up, the top shelf is more of a like prequel display, but this is a great display as well. We do have some of that Clone Wars gang there on the right with a few clones in the background. I know I saw Fox in the 332nd, but you also have Clone Wars, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka looking super nice. And then this shelf also has a ton of amazing looking villains. We do have Grievous. We have a battle droid or two up there. Then, of course, we gotta have Dooku and... Anyway guys, it is actually now the next day, and unfortunately, I don't know how it happened, but the entire second half of this video didn't have any audio at all, so we are going to have to reshoot it. So uh, yeah, unfortunately this isn't going to be out on Thanksgiving like I was hoping, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the first question. Jay Prasad asks, speaking of horror, what is your opinion on the undead trooper being a Black Series figure? So I'm guessing you mean like this type of Stormtrooper, and 100% that would be absolutely amazing. I think Hasbro would knock it out of the park. I think if they used a mix between like the new Stormtrooper mold and uh, new parts showing like the zombie kind of aspect of it. I know uh, looking at the Marvel Legends zombie Captain America, that figure is absolutely incredible, and all the like the gore and the detail on that. If they could somehow do the same thing on this stormtrooper it would be absolutely amazing by far one of the top five figures in all the black series just how incredible that would look so i doubt they'd ever do that in the black series but i would really really hope so because it would just be so cool the next question says ask lugnus monster what is your favorite hallway scene vader luke or maul all three are great amazing hallway scenes but i gotta go with vader i think that vader hallway scene completely just turns the tide of Rogue One. You know, before the Vader hallway scene, Rogue One is a pretty decent movie. You know, it's it's all right, but that Vader hallway scene completely changes the movie and makes it just a top tier movie. And plus, it just shows how incredibly powerful Vader is as a character. I think Vader is the 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 best movie villain of all time. No matter what movie it is, I think he is the best. And this hallway scene just shows how powerful he is. He can take out an entire squadron of rebel soldiers by w without barely trying and it's just freaking awesome i love it the, the scene is incredible star wars big brain asks who's your favorite delta squad member and why great question i gotta go with sev i'm uh I'm a huge fan of his character when I played the game, and that's mainly just because his outfit looked the coolest. I, I'm a huge fan of like the whole uh, maroonish, reddish color uh, on his armor. It looks super cool, and of course he's a sniper, which is really cool as well. But after playing the game, like that, that was like first starting the game. I thought he looked the coolest, so I picked him as my favorite. But after finishing the game, I gotta go with Scorch too. Uh, I think I love them equally as of right now. But I, I love Scorch, and that's just because of his, like, quippy, good attitude kind of personality. You know, he's always cracking jokes, kind of, it feels like, when it really wasn't. But he's still super dope and badass at the same time. So, both are really cool, and I really wish we got some more of Scorch's personality when we did see him in Bad Batch, but we really didn't. Cyrus says, who is your favorite, or not who, what is your favorite Black Series packaging? Great question. I, uh... 
I, I love the galaxy packaging and I love the different colors like the different movies have but I'm a bigger fan of the just normal square boxes like the red and black box and uh, the really the only way we get the combination of these two is with the original Game and Grades packaging. I loved the more square style boxes rather than the weird like wedge on the Galaxy packaging, but I love the different colors for that Game and Grades line, and uh, it it like was unique to each character in the box, and I loved that. I I really thought it was. I guess the peak of Star Wars Black Series packaging, and I wish we could get more stuff like that, but since they did change to Galaxy packaging, the Game & Grade sign now is all the same color, and it is a big disappointment in my opinion. The next question says, Hi Ask Lucas Monster, have you 3D printed anything? If yes, can you please share? So I have actually got my 3D printer back up and running. Uh, I've only done a few prints here and there. One thing that I did do so successfully is I printed the uh, the like wall panels for the Hall of Armor. It's not perfect. It was my first print since I fixed it, and so there are lines and stuff in the print. But I didn't want to reprint it, and it works just fine for what it is. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I do have a few more things that I've printed that I can't really show right now, just because uh, it's a secret project, and you guys will see it a little bit down the line. But uh, super happy about that. And then uh, I did print this stuff, which you guys can't see because I haven't turned my camera down yet. And uh, these were actually just some commando pieces, like I said. This was the start of the helmet. Came out alright, but the print did fail, so I had to stop it. I'm not really sure what this is. This was Sev's shoulder pad, which didn't finish printing. This one actually did finish printing, but it broke. Uh, it was the little knife hand piece, but the little side piece broke there. This was the start for the chest armor piece. This was the like heavy artillery commando blaster, but it didn't finish printing. This actually did finish. This was Sev's uh, little like shin guard thing. Don't know. I probably can salvage that. This was commando blaster, and it printed really good on this side, but this side it was stuck to the bed, and it looks really bad. Same with this. This one did finish printing commando blaster. That's actually two scale. It is the accurate scale compared to like this one. You can see the size different difference but again I had the same problem where the uh, this side was flat on the bed and it just didn't print right so if I'm gonna reprint this it probably have to be vertical like this so it gets detail on both sides Bosk's Ben asks do you think Bosk will look any different in the book of Boba Fett assuming that he's in it so Bosk is actually a figure I just got today so thanks to Ian for sending this to me but uh, yeah I think just Bosk is a pretty iconic bounty hunter by himself with his whole yellow jumpsuit and I feel like if they changed his outfit it would kind of like take away from the character like imagine Boba Fett in his own TV show without his armor it just really wouldn't be the same and I think that goes the same with Bosk I think what they might do is change it up just enough to where they can sell more toys and products of that version of Bosk without actually uh, I guess changing the character too much so I think they're gonna try to change it a little bit like maybe a different co coat of paint for like a Boba Fett armor they're gonna try to do something like that where maybe it's a different shade of yellow for the jumpsuit but I think they're gonna stay pretty relatively close to the same anyway guys that's actually gonna do it for the video if you did enjoy it like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one